grass fed beef liver. <laughs> look at the look at the pipes. Look at the hole. Look, look at, at the, the pipes. Hole. Michael, look at the hole in it. <laughs> Whoa! It detoxifies, so all the cow's toxins are filtered through that liver that all you're eating. Oh, beef oh, liver fire! It's not um oh. oh. any more? F off! F off! <laughs> <laughs> I can taste it, I can taste it now, I'm breathing more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's hectic. Oh, brown pounds. <laughs> oh, brown. <laughs> Are we live? Mad pounds. Yes. <laughs> Episode number 10 of the Money Muggle. Fully actual podcast. Sorry. Brown pound. We were just having a chat about Matt's Matt's weekend <laughs> and man oh man it's Easter here it's Easter Monday right now and we're in for a jam-packed episode so sit back and grab a tea I reckon no I have a bong we got our fussy little boys we got trauma trivia we got therapy with a brown and we've got Julian Woods coming in to have a chat to us about his upcoming comedy tour which is wild if bro. you choose green tea over coffee it's better for your uric acid levels Shh. don't it stick to pounding nothing. pussy bro matt Sp brown split the, lips. split the lips with cock oh, oh. Mm, pound pound at it can you say can that pound at it brother <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I just did, bro. As you all know, everyone, it's fucking oh, Easter shit. right now, bro. And look, I didn't have, I didn't, I, it was yesterday, I just did family shit all weekend, all right? So there's no dream this week, but it'll be back next week, okay? I'm so, sorry about that. It was just family shit on, and look, I didn't I ran dream. out of time. Yeah. That's that's what happened. Matt I didn't, didn't dream. I didn't have any dreams over the week. Yeah, so super frustrating, guys. I'm sorry. Just DM Matt and let him know how you feel about it. Oh. Uh -huh. Anyway, how's Easter been, everyone? We ate some chocolate. I walked past Alfie Langer's statue at Suncorp Stadium on Friday night. <laughs> Mickey went to the Broncos game. So. Yeah, what was up with that? Oh, you took a family member, didn't you? Yeah, free yeah, tickets. Okay. So I sort of went with the nephews and watched the Broncos play some NRL, yeah, fuck, which yeah. you know I love. And um, and good. the and fucking horses got up for a win, but hey, they're in the forties. Yeah, so it was a, it was an ass kicking. They're in the forties, brother. So. And what else? You played oh worms, lots of worms. And I got a win, really, on worms. Oh yeah, true. Brown on Friday won a game of worms, yeah. but considering I had four worms and he has eight, so he has double my worms. That's why he wins. Number nine in the world. No, no. That, Number nine in the world. Anyway, anyway, stop. It's lose lose for you if you let him pick eight for you. If I had to play the number nine in tennis in the world, shouldn't I have eight players? It's different. It's different. <laughs> There's only limited options in worms. Tennis is a different game. Sorry. <laughs> pretty similar. But same fitness. <laughs> Dexterity. It was a good weekend. East is good. I think. A Chocolate? bit of a sugar hangover today. We've been training hard for this fight. We're in April now. First fucking April. April fools, everybody. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Yeah. We pranked Brown this morning. Got him with a good scare. Didn't we, Brown, eh? Yeah. It wasn't meant to be that good, but it came out well. <laughs> he walked it like, yeah. He you walked would. into the trap. Yeah, it was very, very. So <laughs> how's your training going for your boxing? Yeah, look, oh, mate, man. it's going all right. It's fucking rough, but eh? Like, Are you feeling confident in your in your technique? Yeah, I guess if every time I spar, it gets I feel more confident. But it is like still like man, it's a heavy, heavy. Are heavy you finding sport. you're getting powerful? Yeah, I guess like in sparring, you don't really want to commit to like throwing him too hard because yeah. man, I did that with one guy the other day. Yeah, you, you fucking found out dropped him. No, he Michael oh, dropped he him. stepped it up, and yeah. next minute I couldn't breathe from my he stomach. He found out the hard way. He's scary. He's what was scared. his name? Oh, I won't say his name. Lex Luger. He's fucking he's a good boxer, that's for sure. Yeah. Anyway, it is it's fun, but it's scary. It's sort of like a bit of both. Yeah, I can't wait to get it over with. I just fucking get get it done, bro. Yeah, a lot of training on top of work. He's mm, like yeah. it's like two jobs in a way. But yeah, physical it'd be, labor. It'd be good at the end. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, as long as things as long as, long as, as we don't get knocked out in the first 30 seconds. What would cold. happen? Okay, here's an offer. 
You see Marty get knocked out, I get knocked out, and then someone comes up to you and goes, get in there and face them and we'll give you 3K. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'd do that. Okay. No training at all. Of course I would. Okay. So I'd have What I'd have behind me is is the, the anger of seeing my two best friends get KO'd. The fully and, actual uh, would yeah, take over. the fully actual would take over and I'd just walk in there, not a care in the world, whether I get knocked out or not, I would just... You, Mouth open, arms up. Yeah, what if you swing for sore? the fences. No, nah, fuck it. I'd do it. I'd risk it. I don't believe you. I, I promise. I swear in my life I would do that. No, I'm not shaking that Yeah, because you know. Oh, see? It's, Neither it's, of us trust that. Sorry. Well, I would. Well, let us know in the comments if you think Matt Brown would actually do that, everyone. Okay, what about mm. this one, Matt? Would you <laughs> sit in a sink, a big sink oh, at work? scenarios. And then you have to have a, a toaster that's on. Someone, You have to throw it up above a meter while you're in the little sink like this. You're sort of built, like you're sort of cramped up. Throw it up a meter and catch the toaster three times and it has to be over a meter to throw. Yeah, I'll do that, but I don't know. And if you I'll, get well, for free. Can we make you a do sink it for that free? I'd fit in? Would you do it for free? No. 30 bucks? No. 40? No. 30 bucks? If you drop no. it, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 50? Okay. <laughs> what's, been then, going, what's been going on? In Brown. Yeah, you went to Noosa, didn't you? Uh, I did a walk around the Noosa headland. And what about work? Have you fired anyone? Jenna? No, no, because I'm not in that uh, position at the moment. Do you, do you like I'm having the back? job of firing people? No. How many times do you reckon you fired someone? I can't say. Why? I don't know. I feel weird about that. <laughs> Ten? Yeah, and more. But you like it. I no. can tell. Have you ever done two in one day? Have you ever laughed while doing it? Or scoffed? I've definitely sent two people home in one day and then they were eventually fired if that counts. Okay, I'm the first guy. What are you saying? Marty's the second guy. Tell me the first situation. How do you just say well, the, what you said? Situ- say what you said in the tone you said it. No, no, they got done with um. Drugs. They got done for doing drugs at work. Okay, so okay, come Legends. yeah, that happened to happen work, me and Marty. They had drugs. What? In. what okay, some positive. Revisit it. Let's do the exact. I can't thing exactly happened. remember. Just try, try. What drug was no, it? No, it was hot. It was just pot, I think. Oh no, one was pot and one was amphetamines. Okay, so I'll be the pot guy. Marty's the amphetamine. Go. It's, it's hard because I can't quite remember, but I remember one guy was like, oh, my God, my family are fucked up. What do I do? What do I do? And you said, and I then, don't care. And, and Are you still here? And then the other person was like, I'm a fucking addict. I'm an addict. Oh, and really? screaming in the room. Oh, wow, that's so, exciting. Yeah, it was it was quite rough. All right, and see. it was rough because I liked both of them. They were both cool. Like you, lo- you loved that junkie. Okay, yeah. revisit it. Pretend that it's happening for the first time. Go. Um, I was. No, I can't. I, just I don't say remember. what you'd say to me. I was just, no, I didn't. I've been I, caught with pot. I was You've very supportive. I was very supportive, and I was just Did like, "Did you hug them?" No, you don't. So do that. not that supportive then. You don't do that. Oh, pa- did you at least give him a pat on the back? Did you offer no. a hug or put your arms out like that? No. If you if you had to if you had to hook up with one, was it the first one or the second one? The second one. The junkie. <laughs> yeah. The method. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. And all right. Because that one was a girl. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. Are you homophobe? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine fucking homophobe. It's just not what I'm attracted to. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. There you go. Sorry. Well, Sorry about that's transphobic that. if you're not attracted to that. No, they won't trans. Yeah, but listen to the story. Yeah, one was a man, one was a girl. I'm attracted to girls. That's why. What about I chose girls who transition to men? It shouldn't just base everything no, on gender. No, because that would be a man. So if a man transitions to a girl, then maybe I'll think about it. If a if, if a, a lady boy. Yeah. You f- a lady boy. No. You have no. 50 would you for thirty k? Oh no. Okay. Julian did. Yeah, for thirty dollars. <laughs> Anyway, let's fucking move on, all right? We've you, got we've got some messages from our um, outrageous sponsor. Joe Fortune doesn't sponsor the podcast anymore, by the way. Oh, he didn't he didn't like us? Well, no, they got a new like marketing guy in and, and, he and fired they're us. tightening the straps a bit. So we we got fired. We were first to go. <laughs> <laughs> we we're not worth it. We're charging him for this one though, aren't we? We're not we're not worth it. So uh, that's a reminder, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and give us a five star review on Spotify yeah. to trick brands into thinking that we're, we're worth, worth it, it for a few episodes, and then when they realise that we're not, they they cancel that. Yeah. But, but we've already invoiced them. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, here's your invoice. And the more we 
don't feel worth it, the more we're gonna oh. maybe. Don't forget to engage so we can trick other brands Speaking. into giving us money. Yeah, Speaking if not, of. we might. Speaking of, we should probably mention the brand. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the brands that we're tricking, here is a word from our sponsors. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. Anyway, hey, Manscaped has asked us to say some stuff, but look, we couldn't be fucked finding that email right now. <laughs> oh, no, you can't say that. Look, they're I'm being most, honest. They're our most loyal. They, they appreciate our honesty. Honesty is the best policy, look, dude. And so do our viewers appreciate our honesty. Look. We don't know where the email is, but Manscaped, that, look, you better go to their website and have a look at the new shit that they got going on, all right? Click the link in our description and, and you have 20% off. Boom, hit fully actual 20, our discount code, have 20% off Manscaped. Have you got, put, do me a favor and run your hand over your legs like that. Is that furry? Then Ooh. fuck you, you f yuck. You're gross, yuck. That's yuck. You're yucky and shit. <laughs> shit life and shit. You fucked everything up. So go to Manscaped and get yourself some shit that shaves that shit off so you feel and look a bit better. And have 20% off now. It's for women and that. Fun fact. I they, used it. They've just released a lawnmower 6. And a gun. No, they yep. Manscaped has a gun, a <laughs> rifle. And you don't need any kind of ID to get the rifle. Yeah, yeah, you can. Fully you can. actual 20 will get you 20% off. That's the, right. Off the gun. And, and the Manscaped. So go to manscaped.com. They've got guns. They've got guns. <laughs> and they've also got... <laughs> I mean, but we're going to have to bleep that or YouTube won't decline it. Why? Yeah. I can just feel it. And they've got toners and shampoo and stuff. Yeah, look, they've also got this fucking Nico. That's... No, no, they've that's just that. started doing no, Nico. I think that. that's a Sharpie. Yeah, oh, Sharpie, sorry. Same. So you, you can't your put teeth Sharpie in. in. Yeah. Colour your teeth in with it. Sharpie oh, does not sponsor the podcast. Wait, wait, sorry. Okay, all right. But that's they enough. do do that's enough Manscaped. for Manscaped. That, that's all they get this week. And they're going to be happy with that and they'll pay us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Michael, just leave that. Sorry, I really want to get one for <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Manscaped, all right? Look, we love you guys. You yeah, know, and we're going to go around. hard on that We're, we're fucking the only fucking around and Manscaped, mm. you are the boys. Manscaped, part of the boys. So if, if you want to be part of the boys, go to link and description and get your shit sorted. They truly are the best sponsor. They are. And yeah. they're very, very... Look, they've like, been day ones. They've been our day they've ones. They've been here since the start. And look, I just want to say also, girls, you're a part of Manscaped yeah. too. Yeah. It should be renamed um, Scaped. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think Because it's, it's not just for men. They're and for, I've written yeah. them an email saying, change it to scaped.com. Yeah, well, mm. it will probably go that way soon. Harry m needs shaving too. Excuse me, Matt. That's... Sorry. You pound Sorry. day and night brown pound <laughs> pound <laughs> slip oh. the lips slip oh. the lips pound town brown pound town oh, brown pound down pound town oh, 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 down oh. pound town brown town brown oh, oh brown <laughs> pound brown yeah cool anyway okay. brown manscaped and of course it's time to get healthy. <laughs> Mm. Oh, man, thank God. Mm. Everyone needs to listen up because this product has changed our lives. Okay. All right. A G, G one. one. Three letters. All right. Three <laughs> letters. A G one. It's two letters and a and No, a, and three a letters. Okay. A G one. Well, technically that'd be two 75 letters. 75 vital nutrients and minerals that you can't find in any other food source. Okay. You pay a subscription, boom, the powder rocks up at your door. You don't have to go to the chemist. You pour it in a cup. You put the water in first, okay, a little trick. Then put the powder in. It mixes much easier. And then you brown it and down. And then you fucking drink it and you feel the benefits and you live a long time. Look after yourself because no one else is going to. Yeah. And then you can pound that. Yeah. You want to pound. Guilt-free guilt brown pound Three. down at brown. Town, oh f brown f down, pound. dude, dude, AG one, <laughs> it's it's a, AG one. Sorry, AG one. Link in our description and f get amongst it so you too can get your hands on some sixty percent off. At it. Yeah, well, do you reckon they're gonna let us post that because it's very sexual? What, I'm I'm just describing some of the health benefits. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Anyway, AG1. does that have vitamin K in it? That you can get, no, you can get the vitamin D3 and K, the droppers, oh. and they are very, very effective. I would like some of that. 
fine. <laughs> All right, that sponsor's done. Hopefully We're doing well. well with that, eh? We're doing well. Yeah, I think, dude, well, we definitely, that was better than the email that they sent. <laughs> <laughs> and, and AG1 didn't even send an email. <laughs> That's how good that was. We dude. wrote the email. We wrote the email. Just saying pound brown pussy downtown. We should write that. How about this and send it back? Who Brown. gives a crap? <laughs> so, what is he talking about? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Oh my god. Oh <laughs> shit. All right, it's time. It's, it's, it's time <laughs> for it's time for Therapy with the Brown. Oh. Oh. Therapy with the Brown. Oh, ready. Therapy, therapy, oh. therapy, therapy, you put therapy, therapy with the Brown. <laughs> I had the glasses are on. All right, and this is a segment, guys. This is not entertaining. Where Matt What do I there's not even a jingle speaks to us about his problems, right? He's gonna pick a card here. Oh. And so it's getting down, it getting down with Brown. Getting down with Brown. Getting down right, with Brown, the pick Brown. Pick a card, any card. Getting down with the... Right, 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 right. Read it out loud for everyone. R rise. <laughs> <laughs> What's the nicest thing you've ever done for someone? Oh, imagine if it was an ex that you did this for. Oh, no. Pounding okay. pussy is no. pretty nice. Imagine if, you're, if you, this was for your mum, your dad would get jealous. Oh. Who are you nicer to, Greg or your mum? No, I'm pretty equal. <laughs> Greg's not considered your dad. It's just Greg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pretty equal. Sorry. Do you want, where do you put all the used ones? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. That one's no, shit. you don't get to pick one. That's shit, that one. There what about this yeah. one? Oh, this is fucked. You didn't even get what about, you you can do both. Can choose it. It's compromise. No, what about this one? What are some things that your parents did that you would never do? Oh, wow. To your kid? Yeah. Or just do in general? What if both. your dad like... Did farted. a shit. <laughs> if he farted heaps. This, all right. This, will get, this is just sad though. Do you really want to hear this? <laughs> yeah. Where do you yeah, reckon the, weird, the weirdest place your dad's taking a shit? Dude? I don't know. <laughs> Should we ask him? No. Do you reckon he's done a standing up shit before in the shower? Pulling his no. cheeks apart? <laughs> Maybe that when he's young. Do you reckon, do you reckon he's shat in, in water, like forest water? <laughs> yeah, a panic shit in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon. Oh wow. Anyway, good. what's so, the what's the answer to the question? Let's see. What was the question again? What's Your dad something shit. your parents did that you would never do? Oh fuck. No, they're, they're they're pretty good parents. I was very blessed. So they haven't done many things that I would think that I wouldn't do. Were you but, clipped? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. But I would do that. So that's all right. They've snipped your foreskin off too. Yeah. Um at home. Did you ever get back tickles from your mum? No. What? How, how old until you stop breastfeeding? Them. I don't know. Five? Well, ask mum. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, back to um, the question. Anyway, I, I don't know. It's, it's pretty hard to come up with something that I wouldn't do that they did. But uh, this is sad. But they obviously got divorced and their divorce and breakup happened like, like really they quickly. had an argument at night time at like one in the morning in front of us. And why were you was, awake at one in the morning? I was and I was asleep and mum like woke us up so that she could fuck. Hey, hey, your dad us. and I are arguing, come and watch. It was almost like that. That she just opened the doors yelling. And so yeah. And that was that was rough to deal with. Who so, won? Um yeah, nobody won. Who do you reckon side would you pick in that moment? You're like, yeah, dad's making more sense than that bitch. No, I didn't have a side. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Why did but, they uh, want? Why did they want you guys to watch? They are. It was just the way it happened was was rough, and I think at the time, mum was very emotional, and she felt that it should be a family thing <laughs> rather than a um just them two in the bedroom. So fighting. your dad initiated the divorce. Um, I don't know. Did someone go to the bathroom in that moment, like around the same time? As in go to the toilet? Like in that hour? Or go into the bathroom? Like did she leave him to go to the toilet at one point and did he leave no her? I have no idea. I don't think so. Why? I, think, I don't know. I, I think, everyone was, I like think everyone was in tears. So okay. I think some people were in the bathroom but yeah, not okay, using not the using. bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Were you sleeping in with your sister? No, she was in a separate room. How old were you till when you split up with your sister in a room? I don't think I ever shared a room with her. That's not cool, man. Privileged white man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, right, so you wouldn't wake up your kids at one a.m. Yeah, I to wouldn't share an argument. I wouldn't. Yeah, like if if that like, and it wasn't a like it wasn't a horrible thing to deal with, but that was sad. So mm. you know, I would prefer not to go. So they through that. dragged you out there and said, "Look, we're getting a divorce. No, who do you pick?" No, Did they say it wasn't who do like you that pick? at all? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that at all. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just oh. sad. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, shit. That's, Who yeah. do you choose, Brown? It's not funny. I, I don't know. Yeah, see, this isn't a funny segment. That's pretty funny. You just get real deep. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like DM. Everyone loves want. a good DM. No. We want to get deep with Brown Town. Actually, yeah. um, can you tell me something that. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I'm I wouldn't, sure you'd be similar. Yeah, you? I got a fair few. I would say um, I would, I would not, um, not make my kids lunch. <laughs> School. Yeah, Your yeah. Parents what the, didn't make you lunch. I would. Oh, so I, I reckon you should have to make your lunch as it creates independence. You I didn't get just, some pickles. I, was, in I had jar. nothing to make. I, there was nothing. There was nothing there. I was, wow, I was given cash to go to the canteen every yeah. day. <laughs> Ten dollars every day. And Ten dollars back then was fuck a lot of money. It's like $50. Dude, so a like dollar two, would oh. get you a fucking mega donut. At, a lot of super dupers, a lot of breakers, a lot of party pies, a lot of yeah. pizza rounders. Remember them? Yeah. Uh, oh. Burgers. And I was sitting there begging for food. <laughs> I would waste food. Like Were on you purpose. actually... Just because I was we bored. We fully actually didn't get lunch. You yeah, didn't get I like pickles well, in a jar sorry, or something? Not, she didn't say, so oh, you don't get lunch. It was just like oh, sorry, the no. lunch wasn't made. I had to make my own lunch. And so I never made it. Actually, oh, okay. primary school, I was made lunches. I, I only got like canteen every, high school was canteen every day. Yeah. Primary school was canteen every Friday. That's but fucked, I, they, I had my lunches made. You know what I've realized with lunches is sandwiches if you don't eat it in the first i'm gonna say 30 minutes something changes in the sandwich yeah it starts to seep in it, and, it, and it, it becomes shit it tastes yeah, like the texture it just changes. tastes shitter so i would never eat my sandwich i'd throw it away or bring it back home what about the people that are starving in the world we didn't have any of them at our school so like i just didn't know about yeah i know you weren't there you, you were at high school should have given the food to me you're at high school, but I didn't have like packed lunch. You know, then. once um, because I became so pretty, I, th- I don't know if I've told this I'm story. Gonna ask your mom I became so pretty, predictable yeah. with who I would ask for food that um, some of my mates they stitched me up and they put dog food in a sandwich. I'm like, oh, they here, did not. Yep. Do you want? Do you want this? Um, <laughs> all right, it was during sports kind of, and they. I was eating it and I looked over and they were all laughing, and I was like, looked at it and they're like, oh, it's dog food. And then I just shrugged and then continued to eat it and that shut them up immediately. <laughs> oh, fuck. And I fucking ate a dog food sandwich and I kept going with it. And then they're like, fuck, yeah, I was sick. You didn't fucking throw it away, bro. <laughs> That's how hungry you were. Dude, I got fucking oh, bamboozled in a, in a classroom once. It was fucking good too. Um, <laughs> it, we were all eating Skittles and passing them around. My mate had a big pack of Skittles and he was passing them around. I had like four or five of them. And it was great. Fucking and then, pig. And then I didn't see this, but one of the boys like got his balls out in class and stuck a skittle on his balls, and it's like, ah! and it was just sitting on top of his balls. And I missed all this. And anyway, they took the skittle off, and everyone's like, oh, I'll pass it around, see if someone eats it, all right? And fucking, they passed to me, and I just got given a skittle. And so they gave me a green skittle, and I ate it. And then like, you had a ball. Ten skittle. of the boys were like, ah. His balls. Wow, that's just so, yeah. really immature, man. So yeah, I was um, not impressed, and it ruined green skittles for me forever. Yeah, that's really. If anyone was in that story. class, fucking well done. I'd make sure I'd go shopping with mum on shop day, and then I'd just grab everything I wanted. And then when we got home, she's like, "You can only have one or two. Like, say if there's a pack of Tim Tams, you can only have one or two Tim Tams, Michael. That's it. And you got to wait till tomorrow. Yeah. And by the end of the day, the whole pack of Tim Tams you get always be gone. So which, which yeah. one get angry at you? I don't think, I think it was like, oh, you can't do that. And then it was just like, I'd get my Tim Tams again. I'd just the eat them and run. Yeah, I had the same thing. I'd run. As soon as I figure out that they're all gone, I'd fucking get out of there oh, quick. Oh, man, Tim Tams. Holy shit. Man. Yeah, look, anyway. good times. Good times, child. Anyway, look. that's um, getting down with a brown, eh? Now we know more about brown and you guys, you guys know a little deep secret about the brown. Um, and you guys too. Yeah, well, look, we're all bonding. It's all family. That was good in the end. See? That was family therapy. Getting See? down with brown. Sorry. All right, let's have a fucking big, silky smooth bong. Mm. I'll suck the smoke into the lungs and we'll be right back with our fussy little boy. And we're 
are back and uh, we're s- James is still prepping our fussy little boys so in the meantime we're gonna hit it with a voicemail segment Ring. fucking smash it Brown smash it like you wanna fuck it oh, yeah. yo ring it with your rings and this is a segment where you guys call us and leave a voicemail a text a picture a video you tell us stories whatever you want you send it to 04-666-02303 we also have whatsapp if you're overseas same so number send the same number all right so send us a voicemail and listen uh, you might be playing on here but just remember they can't be too long okay so rude now, look, highlights of the week, what we've sent that I can't really show you guys, but I talk about it, is we got sent a dude who had a, a pre-shot of before he got his ball removed because he had cancer, oh, and then a, wow. a shot after he got his ball removed. So he only had one ball. Can I see that? Yeah, I can show you that. Was it much what, difference? Um, I wonder what c- would feel like look, We've balls. also got a dog's dick, which is cool. Oh, yeah, I remember the dog's dick. That was cool. Um, Surely you just ejaculate there's and there's no sperm. We got sent shit. Yeah, some like people are sending shit, foods, which nice. is very exciting. Um, oh, fuck oh, well, don't worry about it. We'll show me after. Now, <laughs> uh, all right, we've got a couple of voicemails. Look, give them a chance. We've got some stories. Oh, so. Remember someone's sending us a finger as well. Someone's literally sending us a finger. The guy who sent who cut his ball off, if you have that ball still, <laughs> send it in. Yeah. <laughs> We'll mix the ball with the finger. And we can play like ball, ball. Finger ball. If we get two balls, we could make a dick with the finger and two the balls could be balls. And obviously. then we can f*** ourselves with it. We well, can f*** ourselves look, stupid and with we'll that put ball. it on our only We fans. could freeze the finger, put a condom, condom on and f*** our ass with it. Yeah, all right. Okay. So Easy. Easy content. Alan pussy. Listen here, you You have exactly one week to give me Brown back. I trained that to molest me the exact way I wanted to be molested. I (laughs) fucking spat on that and kicked that cage so hard that when he was released, I spent fucking three weeks in hospital the first time. Which was perfect. <laughs> Throw salt on my back. The fucking fucking work made that hard. I enjoyed every care. And then you, the pair of you, came and robbed me of my fucking delicious hate pleasure. One week. <laughs> Do you know that guy? <laughs> yeah, I think of it. Is that is he connected to Question or some shit? No, uh, no. You don't want to talk about is it. Is he like just a family friend? He's just another story. And is all he from Quelch? Stories. Maybe you'll have a dream about it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. All right, we might have to bleep a bit of that, but that was pretty good. <laughs> now, all right, next one. Here we go. All right, no, now, now I've got a bone oh, to pick with fuck, this one. Here we go. Just hear it out. Oh, it's going to be so shit. Yo, ring it with your ring, <laughs> man. Hey, boys. Look, I thought I'd just give you a little funny hookup story. Um, I don't want to talk about how I lost my virginity. It's just a touchy subject. Um, but basically, I have an awesome little car. It's a little two-door. Um, it goes pretty hard. Um, one day, pretty horny, not going to lie, you know. Man's got to get his wet. So I was like, there's no better decision than to hit up just like, you know, everyone who I reckon I could get on with. So did that, ended up with uh, probably the worst option out of the bunch. But, hmm. you know, I went and picked her up, went to the park. Um, so we got into it. it. Turns out she didn't like having sex and she didn't like fucking. So I'm like, well, you want to give me a head? She's like, oh, hmm. okay. And so she gave me a head. And then I'm about to finish. I'm like, are you ready? And she goes, oh, no, I don't swallow. Mm. And then I um, was like, oh, no, that's all right. Too late. I splooged everywhere, fucking everywhere. And it went all down the fucking inside of the windscreen and all fucking on my door and shit. Fucking puddled up in the bottom of the door well, all in the fucking sand and shit. Jesus. That has got to be the worst cleanup job ever. No more regret have I had than coming home and fucking having to clean that shit up. Not... Fucking good boys. Ring in with your ring. See you later. 
Now, think about this. That I, story, the whole lot of it is a dude picked up a chick and then blew in his car. I do. I want to just leave the jizz in there to dry. I, I do like him. It's not, yeah, he's a fine man, but like, think about like, that's. Powerful If that's shot. the worst thing that has happened to him, he's had a very good life. Yeah, that's happened to most of us. Maybe. Not the windscreen. Like the shot must have slung out and hit the windscreen. That's pretty rough. Lots of it would have been car. embarrassing the the just the sheer volume of ejaculates spraying around and like the girl sitting next to him just kind of looking at him while he's spraying the car. <laughs> Pulling could in have the been sand. Embarrassing. It's quite, yeah, there must it's have like been a, a lot. It's a scary movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, that's what we get. So obviously you guys can beat this. So... Come on, send us through. We got to play. We someone sent us a play, but it was too long. It's got to be under a minute, okay? And keep the pictures and shit coming. We look at everything, man. Yeah, we so really fucking do send enjoy that it. shit in. It's fucking hectic as shit. And thank you so much for fucking participating. Zero four six 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 zero two three zero three. If you want to fucking have a chat to us, and sometimes we answer. So if we do that, talk to us. Don't hang up straight away. Mm. And, and, and be and articulate. Be <laughs> Now, I also want to see what's our tactic. Now, we've basically, you guys all know, we've been calling Emily up each week to make sure that she becomes a better person, but also to make sure that Bailey has dumped her ass because Bailey is our bender story buddy who tells us good bender stories. She got in the way of that, has been blocking, like basically was threatening us and threatening Bailey, hence why he had to break up with her. So we are just calling to make sure that that is official and the breakup has happened. So let's we're see. We're checking Emily, in. And yeah, we're checking in with Emily. Also, should we use a different phone or what? Yeah, you- I'll call her off private, off mine, and say oh, what happened. Okay, let's hope because she does. Can she you read her answering. number out to me? Yeah, 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 and cut this corner, obviously. No, no, leave it in, Kona. <laughs> The person you are I'll try again. It's like no, she, knows she knows this time on a Monday that not to answer her phone. It's not always the exact same time, though. No? Yeah, true. It's much earlier this time around. The person you are calling is not available. Please leave a short message and it will be sent as an audio message. Emily, we're watching. We know the truth. Go to therapy. And I've hung up. Okay, good. Very All right, look, good. we got the message through. We're intimidating her. her. We're slowly getting through to her psyche. Uh, she'll get a text message now saying those words, um, and she'll be quite scared about that, and that's good. <laughs> well, it's good for – it's revenge for Bailey. That's what we. That's why we do this. Revenge. Yeah. Well, oh. yeah, it, look, it's sort of that in like a psychological sort of way. A psychological revenge. So, yeah, it's it, what she did to Bailey was wrong, hence why we are redeeming him. Indeed. And why not? Let's just give him a call and see how he's going. Indeed. You know, she she hurt him really bad. That's being racist. Indeed. You're doing a really poor Asian accent. I'm just saying indeed. 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 Matt, that's super racist. Indeed. Okay, Bailey, give us a story. Hello. Hello. Bailey, hey, Bailey, Bailey, how are you, Bailey? Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Well, yourself? Yeah, not too yeah, bad, look, mate. mate. How's look. Easter? Happy Easter, lads. Where are you right now? Well, I'm actually at my old house. So I've just moved into a new one. I've just got to fix up a couple of things before we hand the keys back. Do you have Wait. any weed? Sorry? Do you have any weed? Yeah, I actually do. Do you want some? Yeah, can I buy some off you? I'm running dry, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I stick, but... Oh yeah, that won't go nowhere. Yeah, that's one yeah. fucking hit. <laughs> Bailey, uh, is Emily there? Nah. Don't you know? You know the guy, lads. She's yeah. not. Do not lie. Yeah, well, it's good. She's like obviously, you know, she's running scared. She hasn't been picking up our calls. We've been threatening her. <laughs> We've been leaving a few threatening messages on her voicemail, but within good reason, as you know. Like we were just redeeming what we're she did. We're trying to, you. to intimidate her and scare her. Yeah, hundred percent. I would have done the exact same thing. Yeah, everyone, everyone, yeah. Can, everyone yeah. understands. It's good. it's good. We're all on the same page, mate. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, look. Throw throw a story out, whatever you feel, whatever you're feeling. It's Easter, so here we go. Uh, an an I've Easter like, bender. I've only got a little one at the moment because uh, I haven't like obviously thought of the ones that are for, like good. Mm-hmm. But all uh, right, so when we were younger, we uh, we had this mate that would always go to his house because like his parents were always chiller than the rest of ours. 
Yeah. So he had a he had a back shed, and we always like there was like lounges and that, and there was a kickback spot. So there was always ten or fifteen of us in there at a time, and then. One day, there was, like, this dude there, like, sometimes random was, like, rock through, but, like, just have a drink with us, and then there was this one dude there, and he was really drunk, and we had these, like, big shot glasses, like, when we were doing shots of, like, straight bottles, and then as he's going to slam the shot glass down on the glass table, like, aggressively, he smashed the glass table and cut all up his hand and, like, started piecing out blood, and this was, like, five in the morning, and we're all, like, thinking, what the fuck do we do, like? Because none of us had a license, obviously, so we're like, we need to call, like, a taxi. Get him up there to the hospital because it was just around the corner. And then one of the boys is, like, put his hand up to go sit out there with him. And we're like, yeah, right And when he was in the hospital with, like, the dude that did it, the dude that went up there with him, like, was sort of giving everyone, like, fucking a bit of candy through the weekend. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then old bud was sitting in the hospital bed in front of all the nurses and was like, oh, you dude, he goes, like, of all that stuff you gave me this weekend, he goes, like, I'll fix you up for it. Like, and then my mate's looking at him going, like, shut the fuck up. He goes, <laughs> don't worry about the beers, like, blah, blah, blah. And then he ended up leaving him because he was just, like, stressing out. And then two hours later, like, we were all sitting in the back shed and he's rocked up in, like, the um, a gown and, like, he's got a needle in his arm because he's, like, ditched the hospital and he's come back and like was wigging out and he come back and kept drinking and his mum his mum had to come get him and he's out the front like causing we were only like 16 and his mum's like trying to yell at him to get in the car and he's like calling her like all these names like because he doesn't he didn't know even what was going on <laughs> it was honestly it's the wild. best is that man still is that guy still alive yeah, but we, we don't talk to him anymore, believe it or not. He's sort of, like, sort of like went a bit weird, eh? He's an Emily. He's an Emily. <laughs> yes, pretty much. He was cool at the start until all that weird shit started happening. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Emily so or him? Dude, was his hand okay or this? Like... Yeah, it was all, like he had to get seven stitches or six or seven stitches. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. So... He tried to party, fucked his hand, and, well, and ruined he still his had the needle. What do they call it? Well, he was like attached to the he arm. He was out there calling his mum like a slut and like a drunk and all that. And we're sitting there going, "Bro, it's your mum. Shut the fuck up." And he's <laughs> like, "No, nah, fuck the. <laughs> she's a slut." I was like, "Wow." Oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh, wow. that, is that is a great story, yeah. especially at sixteen. That's heavy. That's well, heavy. Yeah, that is heavy. At sixteen, your mum would be so oh, upset. Yeah, eh? But like the best, the worst thing is like the dude that was going to go sit up in the hospital with him wasn't really close with him, but he was like felt bad, so he went up there. And when he's sitting up there, like the dude that was in the hospital was like full from this like I made under the bus, and the mate sitting there looking, thinking, "Why the fuck do I even sit in the hospital with you?" Oh wow, that is heavy. Man, well, there you go. That's like, I guess the moral of the story is don't do drugs at 16. Like, that heavy. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, guys. You, you end up like, you, you have a lot of friends when you're younger, and then some of them will just turn into just losers and do that to their mom. <laughs> yeah, you'll be Emily. So, <laughs> yes. all right. Well, thank you, Bailey. That was great, mate. And yeah, look. You Happy bloody provide. Easter, mate. Happy bloody Easter. Or are you going <laughs> yeah. to have a couple of chockies? Yeah, you get an Easter yeah. bunny. All right, lads. Happy Easter. Nice. Nice. See you, later, See you right. dude. And there you yeah, go. He's had some colourful yeah. friends, old Yeah, Bailey, dude, he? that's heavy. Imagine Did we that. find out where he grew up? I can't remember. I, I, I can't remember Colorado, either. But... Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> but, yeah, that would be hard to watch your mate be so twisted that he's calling his mum a myself slut. if you guys did that to your mum. Oh, man. Piercing I myself. I couldn't. I would never do that. No, if you did enough drugs, you couldn't. No. You can do anything with enough drugs. Enough, <laughs> enough drugs in your system it to right new balance. Powers. You become a different oh. person with enough drugs. Mm. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, thank you, Bailey. And it's good to hear that Emily's still out of the scene. Yeah, we'll fucking... We've become different people under the right amount of drugs. Oh, man. Fucking... As really? Zannies and Valium in particular change you, me as a you person. You become a, an, an asshole therapist. A num- under, enough under MD. I'll become that. a Christmas tree. What, what was it really bad? Just you, no matter what was said in that pool, you know, that pool that night. Yeah, vaguely, dude. Very vaguely. I've seen you go like that a few times where you, you really <laughs> want to help everyone, but you're just so threatening. <laughs> it's just, it's the and I saw Mark, dude. like, you started on Michael and you could tell Mark's like, no matter what, no matter what he said, no matter what I said, and James as well, you just, 
no answer was good enough for you. You <laughs> just you turn so around sorry. and be upset. Even, look, it's the Valiums, all right? It's yeah, the Valium Valium and alcohol. Remember the Zanny? That Zanny? Not I, oh, I turn Zanny's. into a different person. Zanny's I turn into a, a different. I think it was Zanny. Was it and Zanny's? something snaps in my. It's the same active yeah. ingredient. Enough Benzo. MD though. You can. It's not just like MD. You're beautiful. Vocal, though. but MD. It's more visual. You just can really. Oh man, it makes me sick. You can I really. I reckon just some of those implode. M, those MD nights is why I had the nervous system. Issues. I I hated the MD. Cause I, I obviously never would never do it. I would never it. do it. But how the I, fuck do you do that? I would be there with Marty and Marty, and I'd be by like pissing, and Marty comes over and goes, "I'm just so insanely jealous right now because all I want to do is piss and I can't." Like he couldn't. Yeah, urinate. that does hurt when that part happens. So rude though. You should have fucking partic- at least sensitive. once. We had a boys trip where it was unlimited MD. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, 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 look, oh, look who we have, everyone. It's time. It's time for the pussy little boys. Look, we have Jenny here. Jenny. 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 We have a little raccoon on set. <laughs> we got a little raccoon on set. <laughs> Where's my little Jenny Penny, hey? <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Little black bear, little baby black bear. Uh, <laughs> smells washed. Little black bear. Oh, <laughs> if you're only listening, uh, a raccoon came onto the set. No, everyone so. can see now. I know, but some people still just listen. All right, guys, it's time for our fussy little boys. Hit it, Brown. Hit it like it's stolen from oh, me, bro. Fuck the <laughs> Fussy little boy, fussy, fussy little, little world. These fussy are fussy boys. boys. Fuss, 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 fuss. <laughs> oh fuck! I hate this part. And man. this is a segment <laughs> where Matt and Michael, who are notorious fusspots, have to try a food. It has to be a food that is a bit weird, and we'll see. Why is he leaving? Just who is fussy? Because it's quite explosive. Oh. Fuck off. So today's a cuisine I've prepared in two different ways. Yes. And but but the main ingredient is ah! organic, grass-fed beef liver. <laughs> look at the look at the pipes. Look at the hole. Look, look at, at the, the pipes. Hole. Michael, look at the hole in it. <laughs> Whoa, dude, there's a hole in it. <laughs> Smell it. Smell it and ingest it. It's really healthy for you. I want it cooked. You can yeah. reveal that one, Mart. That one is the the best one. I've I've prepared <sighs> that really nicely. So that one should be genuinely be quite delicious. I tried it and I was Stop like, this. no, I tried it and I was like, it's yeah, not I, fucked actually, enough. You know what? I'm, like- I'm gonna try some of this. All right. So this is uh, why is it so fucked? Liver. You guys love beef. Yeah. No, it's beef liver. Oh, beef liver, dude, it has a whole different effect on the palate. Oh yeah, it's very um. I don't like oh, how you said. Oh god, dude, I'm so scared. I don't like how you I said can't palate. Do this. Very sinewy. Like what's very, that word? Lots of st- hard strands that don't break through teeth by. Oh. oh. Whoa, that's not good for me. It, okay, this takes me back to Mongolia when we had mutton. Cool. Mutton. Okay, this so, is I fucking. I'll have the cooked. One, this I, is just what it looked like. You can okay. get salmonella from that one, so I didn't want you to have that. Okay. But I, I, I understand. This is the one that you're gonna eat. Wait, why does he get that one? No, you get you get this one as well. Oh, this okay. is the nice one we can try after we try the real experience, which is just pure beef liver, a little bit of salt and oil. That's mm, it. Yummy. This one has like heaps of shit and quite healthy. Yeah, very healthy. I'm ready. Very healthy. This is this is the liver detoxifies the cow's body. Oh, what are you what are you laughing at? I'm laughing that you took the smaller piece. It was very predictable. It's it detoxifies, so all the cow's toxins are filtered through that liver that you're eating. All the stomach acids in it. Oh, it's only half cooked. All of the all of the dirt and shit that that the all the diseases that the cow encounters go through the liver and get filtered out. Dude, he did it medium. Absorb into the liver wall. He, he did it medium rare. He did it medium rare, so I'd you can see the. the fatter bit. Well, this one. It'll be less dry and. Mmm, strange texture, isn't it? It's like overcooked steak, but then also liver. The oh, dude. Really Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. It's like peanut butter. Uh, no. Oh. Oh god. I can't, uh, I'll clean my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't like it. Yeah, it what do you think, good. Michael? It's not very good. I can't it filters it. Filters all the oh. toxins out. Oh, all the diseases that the cow has. <laughs> oh. 
Beef liver fight. It's not a um, <laughs> beef liver fight. Make sure we pick it. that up because it'll go everywhere. Is it my hair? Yeah, you got a little bit in your hair. Where? Man. Uh, the smell is actually really, it kind of looks like Mongolian beef. Yeah, it, the smell isn't bad. It's the aftertaste. It's like I just a, swallowed. I just swallowed. It's like a peanut butter <sighs> aftertaste. Oh, my God. That, that was you rough. Do you want any more? F*** <laughs> off. F*** <laughs> off. <laughs> Slippery liver beast. <laughs> Slippery liver beast. <laughs> 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 Lip, no, beef liver no, fine. No, no, beef liver fine. That one, a bit of that. It's actually really not so bad if you, as long as you don't get a sinewy bit. Oh, I don't like it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's fucked, eh? Oh, aftertaste is shit. The aftertaste, rough. Oh, oh dude. Ah, fuck off. You. F oh, you put it up my pants, you dickhead. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> I can taste it. I can taste it now. I'm breathing more. I can taste it now. I'm breathing more. This cow had a disease before it was shot. <laughs> I can taste it. I hate it, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't, Michael. Yeah, don't. All right, Have some respect. So, uh, out of 10? Yeah. How bad out of 10, Michael? Oh, oh fuck it. That is a solid eight. Oh, dude, it's all about that, face. Is that Wait, the worst? Is that, no, that's enjoyment. That's enjoyment. Oh, it's a two out of ten. It tastes like just, it's like bush. Yeah. So you bush don't like beef liver? Oh, dude, it's still in my teeth. Yeah. Well, could you imagine that on a sandwich with some mustard? No, no. Um, with, uh, yeah, I'm with Michael. It's a two oh, out of ten. But if fuck. I could eat that and survive, I could eat that easy. Yeah. We'll have to pick a lot of this up. Otherwise, we'll get rats. <laughs> I don't mind about that, though. All right, so Is Jenny today, today, yeah. so today oh, turns out that bad. you boys are equally as fussy. Oh, a, wow. two out of, a two out of ten with the beef liver. That's not so bad, huh? I feel so sick. Yeah, I want to go dude. clean some of the mutton off me. <laughs> Come in beef mutton. liver. It's beef liver. Mutton's baby lamb, and it's quite yum and different. Mutton. This is an uh, organ. Uh, an organ uh, of a cow. Oh, dude, a soft, like squishy that. organ of a cow. Oh, Hungry? yuck. Don't say that. It's not the flesh of it. It's the organ inside of it. It's in my fucking shorts. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 good boy, Jets. Oh, dude, it's so sick. look at Jet. He's really loving it. Healthy I feel beef so liver. Ill now, like I just don't feel clean. <laughs> Covered in beef. There's little bits of meat beef everywhere. Beef liver juice. It's not meat, mate. It's organ. It's an organ from an animal. Oh. It's awful. They call that awful. All the off cuts. Oh, dude, stop. They, put, they grunt and put in the sausages. Whoa. Ah. Oh, dude, I can't fucking deal with this. I feel sticky <laughs> and gross. I feel sticky. I feel sticky and sticky and flying. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to have a big fat bong break and be right back with Julian Woods. <laughs> oh, oh shit, God. baby. Oh, my God, baby. <laughs> Matt just slam dunked beef liver all over Matt Brown's leg. Oh. <laughs> Michael. Uh, Michael. No, Matt slam dunked it on Michael's leg. Yeah. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Oh. Little tickle for you. Oh, fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> Michael's holding beef liver. We'll be right back after this bong break, everybody. All right, all right, guys, we are back, and we forgot that we have to do trauma trivia first before we have Julian on. Oh, so let's fuck. fucking smash that like button. Every week, it's shit. <laughs> it's just Every, fucking eating shit, yeah. debating shit, so brain is hard, and then this one's like Where are physically hard. Where prepare are yourself, boards? prepare yourself. I've got somebody's board. I have it. Hang I on. used to... Trauma, trivia, trauma, trivia. Don't copy. Don't. Who wants to pick? Who oh, wants to my pencil's been left on this. The lid wasn't put on. Oh, you, that's you. No. You did that. Wouldn't have been me. Oh, I yeah, guarantee it. Definitely Michael. 
human body oh, yes. no. is the category. A human lost. body is I've the category. And this is a segment where Michael and I have to answer Matt's questions. And if we get it wrong, we have some sort of physical pain punishment that's never nice. <sighs> oh. All right, the punishment for today is sting pong. So we peg a ping pong ball at the person who got the answer wrong, wrong, wrong. The inner thigh should sting quite well. Oh, man, I'll give you my stone on top of a pan pussy. Ooh. What did we pick? You used to... A human body. The human body. You, you used to call me on my brow. Okay, phone. here we go. Um, the questions are made so you both have a chance at winning them. Thank you. All right, are you ready? No. Uh, okay. All right, all right, ready? All right, question one. <clears throat> How much saliva does your mouth produce each day on average? Three, two, two one. one. Reveal. One liter. I've said 500 so milliliters. Michael said one liter and what do you say? 500 milliliters. milliliters. Okay. And the answer is exactly one liter. Wow. Marty loses this question. Shit! And we'll take the first punishment. <laughs> How did I fucking win that? Well done. You've measured it before. That's how you know. You've done golly bottles, so you know. <laughs> yeah, he's very... Don't hit my dick. <laughs> Be strong and hard and think of the... Oh! oh! It stings immediately. Look, there's a red oh. circle. All right, remember, you have to attack the same spot each time. Sorry. Ow. All right. I can't believe it's like an instant red circle. Yeah. Huh. All right, good work, Michael. Question number two, 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 two. two. All right. On average, how much urine does a person produce in a lifetime? Oh. How much urine does a person produce in a lifetime? On average, here's a little uh, hint for you guys to help you out with the little um, It's roughly about two liters, 1.5 to 2 liters a day on the average person is produced in the body. Um. Now, when I did read this, it did base it off the age of an 85-year-old person. I think I've actually nailed it. So back the fuck up. Show me your answers in three, three two, two, one. one. 8,000 litres. 300,000. <laughs> I get it. You're both way out. What did you say? 300,000 litres? Yeah. You said 8,000 8, litres. I think Marty's closer. It's 35,000 litres. Well, that fucking sucks. Yes. Why did I say yes, 300,000? <laughs> <laughs> I am my closer. <laughs> <laughs> Marty gets to deal out the punishment. <laughs> no. oh, fucking hell. I'm going to fucking smash. Enjoy your prize, sir. Reveal the oh. leg. Reveal the leg. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Dude, that was clean! <laughs> I heard it! Dude, it hurts more now it. than it did. Oh it. my god, it, it's like an instant mark. Oh my god. Oh my god! It's fully raised up. Oh, Can you show sucks. the camera that? Raise me up! Oh my god. It only god. does with oh, white shit. shit. <laughs> this is what actually that? a bad <laughs> one. <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, same spot will hurt even my Makale. Makale. All right. Question number three. Question number three. Uh, in gen. Goo. In general. It is said that men may produce between two milliliters and five milliliters of semen each time they ejaculate. How much sperm cells are produced or come out in one milliliter? Whoa. I'll read it again. No. Okay. Um fucking shit. You <laughs> I got black my phone face. Dickhead. I have rounded up for this one. Three, two, one. Reveal. What 50, did you thousand? I said one million. I'm, there's no way. Mike. So you said fifty thousand sperm cells in one milliliter of ejaculate. Yeah. And what did you say? One million sperms. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're both way off. Fucking tell me you won. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> um, so in one milliliter, it is estimated, but I rounded up. Oh. 
to 300 million sperm cells. Oh, oh, so I'm way real, closer. Real, real shame for I'm me. I'm way closer. <laughs> 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 really Marty goes again. Marty goes again. You're a big hen. <laughs> <laughs> Collect the ping pong ball and throw. Oh, my God. See if we can get that thing purple. Same spot. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. No. Oh. oh yeah, it went under. Shit. That was okay. That was oh, okay. That sucks. I'm so oh. sorry, everyone. Oh man. It felt nice like you had it, it too. Can go not as bad as the first. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I have to get this right. Oh god. That's a decline. Huh? All right. Next question. On average. How much does a person vomit over their lifetime? How many liters? No, just how many times they vomit. It's a lot more as a baby. <laughs> On average, over your lifetime, like I'll give you an example. I think I vomited oh, sure. once yeah, last dude, year. So dude, you shouldn't say stuff like that. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, 250. I said 300. 302. So Michael says 250. I'll say 300 just because babies vomit nearly every fucking day. That's what I was thinking. And on average. Do they count that? On average. Hello, Alec. Talk. It is exactly 250 on average. Wow. That's fucked, man. How did you know that? I don't know. That's incredible, dude. Logic and shit. That's bullshit. I reckon babies put that on. It's on average. Ma, Michael gets to hit. Michael everyone, gets to hit. No. Aim up and throw with intention. Come on, pussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> he missed. <laughs> he gets another throw. Pussy boy. Come on, you weird nun. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, so, oh, close. so close. It's Dude. amazing how painful they are. You wouldn't think they'd be. Uh, it's not fun. Give me my tray. <laughs> <laughs> tray. Brown. All right. <laughs> it's a tray. So is that two all? Yeah. Final question. Winner takes all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, shut up, Matt. Come on. All right. On average, how much skin does a person shed over a lifetime? Like weight-wise? Weight-wise. Fuck you. I've already, <laughs> I've already written mine. Three, two, one. Ten kilos. I've gone 100 kilos. Okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> What'd you go? Ten. Ten and 100. What's and the you answer? said 100 kilos. <laughs> The answer is 35 kilos. Fuck, I mean, man. Or, or, uh, for all the Americans out there, 77 pounds. That's I think. amazing. I am the body man. Yeah, you're the body man. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. Michael wins. Michael wins. Claim your prize. Yeah, claim your prize. Baby. Claim your prize. Well, give me a feel of that as you get up. <laughs> you might have won, but you're still mine. Oh. <sighs> Aim strong. Oh, throw hard. Ah! Pain! Ah! Oh, 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 a triangle of pain, <laughs> a triangle of trauma. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. If you can, some once it pops up, show the for clients. Yeah, gotta, gotta get it here. It's quite cool. It's like a little triangle of shown going. Good. If you stand up on the couch, I reckon. Oh, you look like you have ringworm. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's I. It's actually I. It's trauma trivia, baby. Look who it is. Time for Julian Woods. Julian Woods, 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 Woods.
We're back and look, we've got Julian Woods here <laughs> and him and Matt Brown are going to be touring together. So, <laughs> him and Matt Brown are going to comedy show together so, and they're no, going to be dressed yeah. like this during it. It's a take on a Japanese family and and Matt's the wife, the grumpy wife and Julian's the, the, the husband who yeah. eats rice with a spoon and she gets really angry because it's culturally insensitive. Yeah, he's very violent and backhands me a lot. Oh. Stick to tradition. Yeah. And we have an international guest named Michael who sleeps above us and he pisses on us because he's drunk. Man, hey, I've done on. in Cambodia. That was Cambodia, not Japan. Oh, sorry. Isn't he would never do that in a developed country. Anyway. No, Japan sorry. is. Yeah. Wow, we went real out there just then. Anyway. Sorry, sorry about that, Julian. Sorry. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, <laughs> Julian. Hello. You look, look at what he is. Eugenie. Like you could be Eugenie. Eugene Buffalo. Dude, <laughs> you look That's fucked. me. Yo, that, I, don't, yo, I don't like this. <laughs> Outfit. It looks too real. Why did you pick that? You picked it. Julian's yeah, yeah, yeah. not wearing Sorry. a wig. So <laughs> I have a request. I uh, demand that you respect. do more of those videos where you ask golfers to suck your dick. <laughs> to be able to say that to an old man is hard to do. Dude, it's so funny. Like even that one with Walt, we had to cut it short because I like full chased him. Like, oh, I, I saw at the end you said you can. Yeah, that's oh man, it's I, very. Good. I would have like yeah traumatized that old. One man day too. someone's gonna say yes, and you're gonna have to get sucked <laughs> off. Or <laughs> suck off yourself. No, well, that that clip just happened like by instance. We were you're driving just passing home. by. Yeah, we were just we were literally <laughs> passing by, and I was in that outfit. And then I was like, I'm just going to go ask that guy to suck me off and film it. Do the, does anyone get like a bit aggro, a bit violent, and want to come after you? Yeah, there was this um. That cast net video, you know, down at that shop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Did, They're illegal. Yeah, yeah. We went down and tried to get him like another two times, but like every single time he'd like know it was us, like we'd send in different actors pretending to be like <laughs> yeah. fishery oh, officers. So he caught on. Yeah, yeah. And then he, yeah, full chased us. He was a psycho. Oh, Sorry. What, what about with the, um, you had the cops called on you? Am I right? Yeah, we had like five cop. Well, that was meant to be a Willem video. And then, like, yeah, he pretty much just got like <laughs> just five cop down. cars and fucking all these ambulances. And he just felt too bad to upload it. So he just gave it to me because he was scared he was going to get in trouble. Or he had an apology video filmed for it. Oh, that's because <laughs> he's on good behavior, right? Yeah, no. Nah, get- nah, I think I think he's all good now. But like yeah, good okay. behavior, that's nothing's going to happen. Yeah, okay. You've had that before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on bail right now. <laughs> Stab <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking stabbing. I've got actually. I've got a question. How do you solve the youth crime issue in Australia, How, Queensland I've, specifically? Uh, to be honest, with come on. Me, I know you I know. Used to just watch Greg Inglis' greatest hits compilations. <laughs> Inglis is that a footballer? <laughs> yeah, just, and a singer. His big hit. His He's big a singer hits. now. Big hit compilations. And, and that solves anyway. youth crime. Yeah, bro. Do you reckon the age should be lowered in jail? They should be yeah, arrested should at like 14, younger? 16. Why are you asking me? Like, because you're, you're a criminal. You were, you were one of them. Yeah, I didn't steal cars and shit. You yeah, bash tra- people at yeah. skate yeah, park. Yeah, spray cool painting train trains. and shit, bro. Yeah. Spray yeah. painting trains. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's not that I'm getting bad. really hot. <laughs> yeah, it's the air, the air con's actually on. It's just, yeah. a, it's just a shit facility. We've, done, we've never a, really, <laughs> <laughs> just a really shit facility. Yeah, <laughs> we're working. You're gonna. We're, there's a plan for that. No, I think we're gonna ditch the air con in the podcast. Oh, I thought you meant youth crime. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, really? Yeah, we just because we always laugh how people how hot we get. Oh, so we, love everyone, we love yeah. everyone sweating and shit. It adds a funniness to it, bro. <laughs> oh. It's gonna yeah, be so fucking that's terrible. Plan. That's the plan. <laughs> that's a bad idea. So um, you're doing your stand up now? Yeah, yeah. So um, April seventeenth, I think all the tickets and everything gets released. It's still um, it's still a bit bit secret. Where do they like go that. to buy? Them? What's secret? The the tour, like there's still mystery around it because like nobody knows where I'm going, what I'm doing. Can you tell Can, us one place? Yeah, one place. Brisbane. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bro. Is Perth on the cards? Uh, Perth is on the cards. Wow. Is Wollongong? Yeah, gone? Just, how about I just tell you everywhere I'm fucking yeah. going? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, name how many? Yeah, so I'm going to Perth, and then I'm going to Adelaide, and then I'm going to Sydney, bro, and then I'm going to Melbourne, bro, and then I'm finishing in Brisbane, bro. No Tasmania. No small cities, bro. Okay. Fuck those, like, like town full of pores and shit, bro. Yeah, we want no. cities. <laughs> a, cities. How about you be a fucking real adult and move to capital? Dude, city Little or Australia is your Canberra. biggest fan group, though. Yeah, no. 
fuck them. They're like, I've got heat come to Albury. Why the fuck would I want to go to Albury, man? Yeah. What there about was a tennis tournament there? I played when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay, I'll Large go. crowd. That's I'll a good it, reason I'll to go. To the list. But no, um, yes. Yeah, so no I, cans? Uh, I might add cans. Like, You've played at cans yeah, before. Yeah, because I like cans. Yeah, okay. But like, um, like after I do it, I might just fucking Little go ones here and there. And, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, now Make Dark Humor Great Again tour. Uh, it'll be in July. And how many months is the tour? It's just over two weeks. I'm just fucking oh, right. jam packing it, Man, so I don't have to be. And, and what are you? Like, and you so have to drive everywhere, or are you fly? Yeah. No, I'm flying. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> driving. Oh, so, oh sorry. Nah. Well, <laughs> well, okay. I want to hear a story of the funny or the most someone's got offended at a show. Um. Oh, fuck. The other week, I had like a lot of people walk out. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, like I was at West End. You kept stabbing. <laughs> Dude, no, I can't remember what I was talking. I think it was plus size models, and I think they were just fat white chicks. Oh wow, so they so, weren't happy. But was yeah, it? but like a cup, only a few of them leaving looked like heaps. Yeah, because like because yeah. there's only ten people oh. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, Could you tell because they were so slow to leave? Yeah, yeah no, well, man, you, I was sorry, here. they're dumb. Yeah, no, I was. I can't remember. I think it was plus size models I was talking about, or maybe just like kids. Or some shit, and you could just tell, like the front row just did not like it whatsoever, and then they were just slowly <laughs> getting up and leaving, and then I got banned from that c- club for like three weeks. Bullshit. Yeah. What really? was this yeah. conversation? How did they have the conversation dude, with dude, you, bro? Man, that, well, it's my kickback that because they're like, "Hey, man, um, maybe like cut out this, this, this next time, or like maybe don't talk about like domestic violence, bro." And I'm like, oh. "How about you suck my dick?" And then, so, and, then and, then like, and then I beat his wife. <laughs> do you think that was him. really? Do you think it was them or the venue forcing? Nah, them? it's sort of like because they've obviously got an investment where, like, if they lose the venue, they lose yeah. their investment and shit. So I understand that, but there's like better ways to go about it than being like, no, you can't say this, can't say that. Like, and then like a couple of weeks after, I was just doing shit performances because I was like thinking in my head, like, can I say this? Can I say that? Mm. And I just like stutter, trying mm. not to say certain things, and then like. And then I just forget bits of jokes because I'd have to like take them out. So I just said, I'm "What do you coming. do when you forget a joke mid joke?" Yeah, fuck. Oh that yeah, that's hard. It, nah, that's rough. Or like, it's you start hard. dancing and. Gen- <laughs> 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 I just stab him and shit, bro. No, I'm, I haven't really like forgotten a joke. It's more like the little tiny punchlines leading up to the thing. So then, like, or the delivery, yeah, like yeah, how yeah, quick yeah. you put it yeah, out. No, yeah, no, like fucking. Um, what was the joke? And it was like, um, pretty much essentially, I like I didn't say all these little tiny things, and like it. Oh, it was about like um, Brown. Th- uh, disabilities or some shit, and I think it was like. Brown tonguing a few tards or some shit like that mm. was the punchline but i Double didn't t- set it up so then like it didn't hit. and i didn't mean to say tards i meant to say tismos so when you get so then, like no laughter like does, does it, does it never, do you just I've, roll straight no, on the next one not like that i've you never had I've, I've never had a bomb where it's like no laughter it's more like oh and yeah. people trying not to laugh oh, but like don't uh, is, do you ever have a times where people don't get the joke so you don't you sort of they you can tell that they've yeah, missed it yeah. and then you have to roll straight to another yeah joke? yeah no that's a bit rough like yeah, yeah. It, that same joke that i was just talking about like i was talking about down for love do you know that tv show yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it all. see you know down for love but they didn't really need to yeah, like and okay. then i was like oh maybe next week i'll say love on the spectrum because it's like yeah it's yeah, more it's bigger and more but um but yeah no nah, that's just the annoying shit that you have to do is just like fucking yeah, four fuck. weeks to craft one joke and just saying it over and over and seeing what works better yeah but it's a bit hard when it's like if if you don't get it right the first time and it's about like or some shit then it's a bit it's rough too, yeah they like, banned oh, for three weeks yeah yeah pretty much anyway well fuck man it's gonna be I'm on exciting. drugs, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on drugs. drugs. <laughs> yeah, he's still on drugs from last night yeah you? now i'm on valium bro oh fuck yeah did you bring like any that. No, oh, bro. Oh, should sad. i have a bunch nah, i've just been like i've been dabbling in anxiety a bit oh, <laughs> <laughs> val's help with that shit no, it just like, chills you out you're making me want to get oh, val's wrong yeah, fuck it man i want to get some val's tomorrow and social anxiety and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and stuff, dude. Yes, bro. Yes. Come and see my comedy show, bro. <laughs> How much are tickets? Oh, oh, they'll be like 39 bucks or some shit, bro. Who cares? And where do Julian people find Wood, them? Julianwoods.au forward slash shows. 
seventeenth. No, sorry. Yeah, that's yes, bro. That's <laughs> on that drop, bro. Oh wow. So, so yeah. in sixteen days. Oh well, this will come out. Mermaid theater in two weeks. Oh, this will be perfect. So be Mermaid perfect theater. timing. Yeah, I don't know. No, is that the princess theater? theater. Oh shit! In Brisbane. Try. <laughs> 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 try. 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 Good work, Michael. Close. It's close. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, you should see where I'm fucking performing. In you should see where I'm fucking. Yeah. Starving. Can you tell us where you're performing? In Sydney, I can sell us, bro, but I'll fucking do it. Okay, I don't know why I keep saying, bro. Are you gonna be so, Are you gonna be faithful to your miso when you're on tour? Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's rock star. That's rock star. Are you gonna get fucking written off yes, during the tour? Bro, he's be sick, <laughs> Standing bro. on stage, <laughs> slurring out your words and nah, shit with a tour. I don't think I'll have time, man. Because like, uh, I think the second week I'm doing like five shows in four days in like three different. Yeah, cities. you can just drink like, like while you're day driving one. around while you. <laughs> There's always time. That's no, no really. excuse. I know. I, like I perform so bad when I'm hungover. Yeah, like, it would be hard. Because it, it's so. Hard what about get... when you're written off, but when you're fucked yeah, up no. on? Stage no. c- <laughs> through the crowd, <laughs> <laughs> just so. <gone. laughs> so I'm if you want Eugene. stuff like that, bro, come to the show, bro. <laughs> yes. oh, 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 bro's the new word, yes. bro. <laughs> Have you been getting uh, so. Subway? Yeah, I, dude, I had a foot long <laughs> this morning, bro. Malted rice, seeds and grain and stuff like that. Did you toast oh, it? No, no, it's been good. We're, we're, at the moment, we're filming this new character because like, he's just got like these uh, like expensive prosthetic masks. Like, you know that mangrove mask? Yeah, yeah. Like, these ones are like different I'll, sh- I'll tell you the characters after but yeah we've just been like banking them up so then he doesn't get so we can't can't reveal the name on here no, i don't even early. think it has a name i think it's just going to be something extremely racist or something like really she well it's, i guess that will get views well, well one of them's an asian man so but, he's playing the asian dude yeah yeah does yeah. Will, has willem tried to like f- you and shit yeah i don't know he's yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes, bro. yes. Oh wow. Do you have plans to work with anyone else besides Willem at the moment? Um Yes. No, I don't know. No, I'm just like at, at the moment, just cause like It's all comedy it, too. Yeah, it's very um casual with him, so I can sit oh, around okay. and write jokes and play PlayStation and oh, shit, bro. Man. And what have you been to his house? Yeah. He's What's got, his house like? He's got a sick house, bro. He's fucking got like paintings of himself What's he everywhere, dressed? bro. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> how many tweet heads? So, no, it's so empty. It's like it's too big. Oh, really? and then he's got like he's got this mad like tiki bar downstairs, like a oh. full like nightclub. And really? He, he just asks me to play pool all the time, and it's yeah. really annoying. Dude, that sounds so. F- I fucking love pool. But um, no, nah, and then yeah, he just holds poker nights there. Yuck. Oh, and man. stuff. But yeah, and stuff's been looking up for me, and yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, don't, I, Sorry. I, I can't do this. It's, it's, too, it's so no, itchy. Stick it out. No, because I'm, Stick it I, out. I don't feel like me. You have to commit sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you I got... wanted to be like this when I started this podcast? Have... No, I wore backward hats and I look fucking cool. You now I'm this. On, you weren't even on the ca- camera. That's How true. did you stick the eyebrows on? What? <laughs> My real eyebrows, bro. <laughs> um, is anyone is anyone going to be opening for you yeah, when you yeah, do your so, thing? Uh, so who's opening for you? Uh, I haven't d- decided yet. Oh, I've for been fuck's sake! S- Wait, let me I guess. Wanted it's Lewis one- Spears. No, okay. no. <laughs> I love it, Toby. He's too big, Toby. It's that Kiwi guy we met. <laughs> Remember, we went to yeah, his show, and maybe. you were like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get." I'm gonna like fucking yell out this guy so much, and I'm so high at his show. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna yell out and get so much attention drawn to us, Michael. And I was just like, I've got to go to the toilet. And then I just left Were the you, fucking did show. I, did I just did I bring you, or did you just like randomly? I think I I, I don't know. I was so high. Did you buy toilet. tickets to that randomly, and we just went together? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We'll yeah, go yeah. together. And then as soon as we sit down, you're like. I'm going to draw so much attention yeah. to so us. Pretty much, pretty much what happened was me and Michael went to this comedy show of this guy, oh. Lewis Spears, and right before it, Michael's baked as fuck. We had a full joint before and, we went in. <laughs> that's right, and I think I got a bit stoned oh, too, man. and I just I found it real. Hard. I was like, I just looked at Michael and I said, I'm going to heckle so loudly <laughs> and, and draw so much attention to you, 
<laughs> and he just turned into the biggest panic attack. He was like, oh, I need a piss, man. And then he never came back. He just fucking got out of there. Paid money for this ticket, didn't even fucking get to see it. Yeah. He went to Subway. Oh, I can't remember who else I was with. Yeah, one of uh, one of your mates, I can't remember his name. But... Felix. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Fletcher. Felix. Cat. I think it was Greg Inglis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the singer. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, love that the Sims. Very Sims. Good. This so is so good. strange. I haven't seen you boys in like three months. Bro. It has been a while. I, I, I can't believe it's April already. The I, holidays went back. Sh- wait, that's four. Yeah, I think it's been like five months. Give me I- a feel. Matt, Matt. Dude, Come you should open for me on my comedy tour, man. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but just do that. <laughs> for just 10 grab, minutes. Give me a just, feel. Like, give me a feel. Give me a feel. <laughs> feel bro. Give me a feel. <laughs> That's actually a funny joke. <laughs> you guys, Boy, is that your girlfriend, mate? Give me a feel. Give us a feel. Would you do, would you do five minutes before my show, mate? Yeah, all right. Would you do stand-up yeah, right. for five minutes? Give us a joke, yeah. man. I would love to watch Brown do stand-up. So I'll, right. get, I'll let you open my show if you do five minutes. Let's mm. just okay. Let's go. Like Matt, you're on stage. Go. I got no material written yeah, already. Just... Let's go. Bro, holy <laughs> shit! Was that off the cuff, bro? Yeah. That's hectic. Why did the brown cross the road? Why? He's going to town. Oh. Oh. I've never wanted to assault someone. Fucking hell. I wish I had that, that made... knife that I've been stabbing the Asians with. It now, made me bro. mad. Yeah. Fuck, bro. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching heaps of like um, Breaking best, Bad, best of so. Julian Woods with Marty and Michael compilations, <laughs> just reliving the old days and stuff, bro. It's just been sick. I've just been googling my name heaps and stuff like that. What's the top three favorite clips? Um, remember when we got your parents? To I actually, do no, actually, remember yeah, dude, no, no, dude, I fucking that came up in my um. Oh, dude, I think did you do a repost of that yeah, the other day? Yeah. We sat them down in our in our living my old living room. Yeah, it was. It, I don't know. It was just like the fuck. It was real triggering for some reason when I was watching that and just <laughs> like crying. And I, I just looked at my dad and it, it just annoyed me. I fucking hate that. Have you been fi- fucking dad? Have you sucks, been fighting bro. with her? Oh. Yeah, bro. Oh fuck. Um, yeah, bro. Was there a time in your life where your dad? Like he, like, hit me. like, but like, my maybe have gone a bit too far. Oh yeah, dude, he used to what beat did you, me with what did you, man. What was something That's you right. did? What was something you did that re- I just tagged caused the that garage, reaction? bro? You tagged the family <laughs> garage, that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and his dad's I, 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 car. I just, I just tagged the girl. Oh yeah, I fucking scratched. My Why? Dog That's dog horrible. Into oh, his man. brand new I'd car. I beat you too. Whoa, bro. Whoa, wow. that's abuse. God. <laughs> that's really straight up. That's, that's, that's straight, straight abuse. Rolling, bro. Yeah, that's straight well, abuse. Do it. that on stage, man. Remember Threat- the- <laughs> to bash me for five minutes, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 to bash everyone, man. Ask people to not to fucking people. bash Julian Woods. That'll be my. My opening Just trying to bash yes, everyone there in the <laughs> can, audience. Can you, okay, well, if I give you five minutes in front of fucking 600 people at the Princess Theatre, oh, bash! Would you oh, just, no, just threaten to bash everybody on stage for five nah, minutes? See, we what? find it funny. I think everyone will be like, what's happening? No, no you exactly. commit hard. If, if someone, hard. but people who watch this, if they come and see it, they'll be like, I know what's happening right now. Matt has to oh, fucking. Oh, yeah, Matt has Honestly, to Honestly, I saw someone everyone. that looked like you get on stage and then goes, just, oi, just give us a feel. <laughs> and then sort of just approach someone in a wheel scuttly sort of way and to see their reaction i would and piss then myself laughing bashing them bro yeah i don't yeah maybe got, that that's sort of physical it's this local stand-up comedian that's got um cerebral palsy i should get him up and then you just come mid-set and bash him <laughs> yeah out of the audience oh, okay oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And everybody's like what the fuck i can bro? be down with that bashing yeah. is a fun word to say like Dude, i bashed yeah. him yeah <laughs> Full bashing and stuff, man. Yeah. Man, I've got a story for Bash you. Bash it guys down with this, Brown. Bro. Can you tell it now? I can't, bro. Oh, man. But like, I can't. I'm probably going to jail, bro. No way. Yes, bro. So the tour this, might not be on. No, 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 no. The tour will be on, but then like after, <laughs> I'll just settle down and just do a bit of jail, bro. So <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan for this year. Just tour the <laughs> country, time. do a little bit of time, and then. Come out in 2025, yes. reassess. 2025, reassess, new show, prison Ro- Write break. a new show while you're prison. in jail. Yeah, well, that's a, I think that's what I'm <laughs> called jail. Dude, you should create a show called Prison Break. Just stab a few people in there Because it is like rent that. free and you, like, you know, you could probably, it's not oh. a bad idea. You get food, rent. It's so like, sick, bro. And you can have your brother come in and try and break you out. <laughs> the the <laughs> one. No, like in or your the, show, in Prison Break. You can call it Down With Prison. Down With nah, Prison and sorry. it's my... Whoa, is that down because my little brother's no, disabled, yeah, man? That's exactly Why would you what go that's saying. 
You went there. I, I was didn't. Matt saying he would break you out of prison. Oh, so I was my, that was yeah. I was like, really. Good. Anyway, have you seen Prison Break on the Run? What is that? Sorry, <laughs> dude. <sighs> I did the Crack and Look podcast the other day. Yeah, how was oh, that? Oh, yeah. It was good, bro. It was like this, bro. Mm. Did you? I also saw you did. Um... <laughs> it was just like this, bro. There were people talking in mics and there was cameras and stuff and curtains. <laughs> did you do um, Bloody Brilliant Beers? Yeah, bro. How was that? <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> no, see, oh, no but that. they pump it out and you guys are boxing with them now, eh? Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're on the nice card. Bro. With them the other are they day? on the card? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think yeah, they're fighting they, the alpha blokes, yeah. aren't they? No, but I thought I thought they're sure they're the fighting team. individual fights. Yeah, I don't yeah, think they, they're, they're not doing tag team. Yeah, and, and Klutzy apparently his fucking opponent is like forty kilos yeah. lighter oh, than that's him, bro. Right? Yeah, God, that'd like, be nice. Like that kid's gonna die, man. Yeah, yeah he was like, it's impossible to get knocked out if but, you're fighting someone forty kilos. Oh, lighter than like you. so that, much. That's yeah, free money. Up. Like he's he used to be a footy player, didn't he? Yeah, six grade. He's fucking massive. So what? Six grade, bro. Even a. High you play down at Jeeps, bro. Give them heaps, Jeeps. Bro. Yeah, they're legends. Ash go, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I said they for their nicknames, like since their beers, fucking Darcy should be Schooner and then um Pot. Pot. should be Mega Schooner and Pot. <laughs> Mega, Mega Jug. jug. <laughs> <laughs> Mega <laughs> Jug. And they should get dressed up as beers. <laughs> they should <laughs> Do you know what you should <laughs> do? Should come out what, do, you, do you have your walkout song yet? Yeah. Oh, you should, you should, yeah. No, oh. you should you Sand should make Sandstorm. <laughs> no, Sandstorm. Bro, you should make you should get <laughs> Is it actually Sandstorm? I, I thought you put some dust so should, it, it should be a truck reversing sound and then you walk out backwards, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is genius. <laughs> that is fucking genius. No one would laugh, I guarantee you. Yeah, it would be fucking. I know, but. It would be I me directing you. It's the awkward humor of it. Nobody got I it. I like, love that. <laughs> I, I feel like that's really me, dude. That is really me. Can we try? And see He's if getting we can emotional. Do that? Oh, just like, like, remember the blindfold boxing? And I think Marty's walkout song was just a woman screaming. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's that woman right. crying sound effect. We should just walk out to that. Oh, dude, no, I'm down with the fucking truck reversal. That was so good. Oh, well, we can make those sounds. <laughs> Yeah, but they won't hear it over. <laughs> You're not walking out to Sandstorm, are you? I know, it's so <laughs> try hard. It's so try hard. You can't even look cool as you're coming out to that. You look like a ping ahead or some oh, shit. Dude, dude they just so lame, they were like, bro. we need your song like today. Oh, we fucked up. And then I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, I started you playing songs like, what about this? What about this? What about this? And then we somehow we just landed on Sandstorm. Sandstorm oh, I wish we should have chose Iron Man by well, Black Sabbath. Oh, I don't know. Oh man, yeah. um, it's so hot. It in was here, funny bro. because you were going for Slim Dusty, <laughs> oh, and then you, you just reverted up. back to Sandstorm because that was better. I so no, it's not. It's so bad. Like I'm gonna, be, it's <laughs> gonna put my mood down. I'm gonna box worse because that happens. <laughs> yeah, all you can think about is those reaction. sounds. What's that while song, we're bro? What's that <laughs> song, bro? <laughs> oh, dude, I wish we had the <laughs> fucking <laughs> reversal of a truck. <laughs> That is so good to me. It's if someone just, did that, I'd be like, that's a cool guy. I'd be like, that's a fucking cool guy in my just, eye. Yeah, just walking backwards to the ring. Oh, trucks reversing <laughs> should make the sandstorm music. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you guys have any, do you have like cool boxing clothes? Hey, do you no, like, what are you wearing? What do we wear? Yeah, I don't know. Like, are you getting a custom kit done? No, no. we haven't yet. Isn't we don't like, know how to do that. Isn't it like 10 think, days? Yeah, I think yeah, it's meant. not like, far off. <laughs> It's like two weeks away, isn't it? I think you nah, meant to like, get. It's like twenty-seven. You're in shorts, so right? twenty-seven days. Oh. How the fuck? Do, I'm just gonna wear this. <laughs> you should wear the donut. <laughs> you guys should fight in the donut shorts because it's gonna look like you're trying so hard. I know. Like, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I want. I want. <laughs> I want to. Dude, what do you do with your gloves when you're walking out? I'm just gonna walk out like this to sandstorm. Yeah, yeah. And then Marty's gonna go. Oh, Do you know what the I'm worst like, thing is? You're going to try and be like, jing yourself up. And just by nature, you're going to like bop your head to the yeah, beat it's when be you're in there trying to. Yeah, it's gonna you're going like to be a bit of a bop. It. We've like, got to change it. It's, it's official. We're changing the fucking song. <laughs> change it to, to TNT, bro, by ACDC. What about bro? something from TNT. Phil Collins? <laughs> what about Phil Collins? <laughs> 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 but you, you cut that bit out, bro, and it's just the fucking It's just the drums the whole time. What about the Russell Coit theme song? Oh, get rhythm. Oh, bro. Sorry. I should, Sorry. Uh, you should just out. do it a dial tone and walk out with a phone. Yeah, the old internet <laughs> dial-up sound. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, internet dial sound is very good. <laughs> and we oh, come out man. saying, I'm a computer. I'm a computer. <laughs> yes, and we've got laptops instead of gloves. <laughs> Stabbing people, bro. <laughs> Stabbing people and stuff oh, like that. I'm, I'm a computer. <laughs> He's but he's right. Like I'm not going to be able to get pumped up knowing that that's playing. I'm, I'm not going to And you're going to see in yourself zone. in the screen, and you're going to be like, you'll catch yourself and be like, oh fuck, I look like an idiot. I'm going to and try it, and make it out like I hate the song. I'm what about like, oh. <laughs> what about <laughs> who who's chosen? Oh, 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 what about that? Oh. Hey, Geronimo, you know that song. Let's walk out to that one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> pumped up kicks, bro. <laughs> that song. Pumped so up hard. kicks, bro. All the other kids. Yeah, yeah the see, that's too try hard. Kid. The the car, the truck. <laughs> Reversal is the greatest thing ever said. Like, I'm, that's so fucking good. Oh, the internet dial up time was good too. Yeah. And then we're just sort of backing up, look like we're driving. Oh, dude, that is so fucked. As we turn and then park, oh. and then they put the wax and on my face. And then we just like laughing at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's looking at. That's the, what oh, we should have done. They put the wax on your face? Yeah, they do that. D Vaseline. Yeah. Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline. That's not Petroleum wax. jelly. Mm. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought it was man. wax. You're a surfboard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. Yes, bro. Wax I on. I thought I was a surfboard wax for a bit. Mm. 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 We thought you were a surfboard, bro. <laughs> you Are you scared? Back. Hang 10, bro. You know, you know the one of the guys you're fighting has a, um, it like works at a morgue and has like a ring at his He's, work, so he he, and he, just he trains and fights bodies. around dead bodies. So you're saying that he is a magician? <laughs> yes, bro. That's exactly what I said. I look. The more I train, the more the better I feel. Yeah, of course. Sorry, but like, I think yeah, that's just sort of like that sounds pretty philosophical. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, I feel like yeah, they're, they're, we're definitely the underdogs in this because fuck me, that sounds like that Brizy guy has really been fighting a lot, <laughs> like his whole life. Yeah, no, well, fucking. Um, just anyway, ask, ask the boys you train with. Just ask the bloody brilliant beers. Boys do what? Do they know them? Yeah. Well, that, 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 yeah, that whole thing is like that podcast scene. They're all in stuff like sexually. That. Well, yeah, Greg Inglis, bro. <laughs> we should get them on. Let's get the brilliant beers yeah. boys on. Yeah, yeah. we can discuss just, this. No, but just fucking hold them and go. Tell us everything. Let's they're, get them they're, Fuck, they're, they're probably telling them about us. They're the insiders in our they're gym. They're the moles in the gym, bro. Shit. Kick them out, bro. Mm. Now, without even questioning or asking them about it, bash them, bro. Wow, we have to kill the bloody... Yes, bro. <laughs> Shit. Stab yes. them, bro. Right. Holy so shit. So we're doing it? Uh, we, can, we can go to it now. He lives in Ashgrove, bro. All uh, right. That's, oh, that's it. It's event. done. All right. So bloody brilliant breers. We're coming. We're coming. We're so... We're sorry. Sorry, too. dude. Oh, <laughs> did they not have they not said anything to you that they know these guys? Oh, a little bit, but not nothing about like their skill level. Yeah. Little bits and bobs and pieces. Bit, yeah. Bits and pieces and stuff like that. <laughs> a flick and a fly. A flick and a fly. You ruin everything. <laughs> you fucking ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, oh. julianwoods.au forward slash shows and shit, bro. There Tickets on sale April 18th. April 17th. 17th. Sorry, and 15th. right now it'll be April the 14th. So in three days, head to Julian's Instagram or go mm. to the website yeah, and fucking get your tickets before the shit sells out, yeah, bro. bro. And everyone and, shout, Woodsy! Hey, and it's Woodsy! Yeah. Yes. Oh, bro. <laughs> that felt flat for you, man. <laughs> what, 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 Woods? Bro. Yeah, and it wasn't very natural. Yeah, no, it wasn't, man. And, it, and now I f every time you talk, I forget what I'm going to say. Oh, sorry, you dude. Just, you just throw me that I'm far fucking ruined course. everything. You blank his mind. <laughs> I really, yeah, bro. That wig looks good and so does the outfit. Kiss. Kiss each other, then, if... Just one peck. May's well. What are you doing now? It's Easter. No, just just my, it wasn't my bro. idea just to put that way. You operate. Oh, just God damn peck. Just yeah, I'm peck. sorry, all right? Could anyway, have pecked. Good Should to see you anyway. too, bro. Um, <laughs> all right, so Julian Woods, April 17th. Bloody Billion Breers, April 17th. Oh, yeah, we didn't kill them if they show up oh, yeah. dead. Sorry, if oh, they yeah. are dead. Can you imagine if they just got found yeah. murdered? Shit. Oh, no. We'd be fucked. It wasn't us. God, how do we get out of this one? Well, you should know. Like, You're fucking criminal. Website only, but that'll be on the website, bro. That'll be on the website, website bro. But we didn't do it. Yeah. There's a dog over there, man. <laughs> yeah. Oi, let's stab it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so sick for the oh, website, but. All right, we're going to have a bong break and we'll be right back with a prank call, everyone. See you later, Bye. Julian. Bye. See you guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, Julian. <gasps> <gasps> Michael.
We have, have all a the good time to wait. We have Picking for up the you, phone with your first mistake. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to try and prank call this guy again. We tried him last week, no answer. No one ever answers their fucking phone anymore. And so this guy, um, oh, should we listen to the message again? Um, yeah, I guess to give reference, but yeah, basically that's he, right. he, has a, he owns a loud dog that barks at all hours of the morning, so we're going to pretend to be a neighbour that has found his number somehow and we are going to confront him. As Arnold Fine? Um, I think I'm going to pretend to be like the council. Oh, that's right. So as just a new character or Marty's sort of alter ego of being a councilman, we're going to see if he gets, apparently he gets pretty wild, like riled up if you can um, press the right buttons, similar to, I guess, Julian's father. Come on. Hello, Brett speaking. G'day, Brett. Uh, my name's Defilic uh, McCorn, and I'm just um, working uh, Brisbane uh, City Council, mate, and um, we've just had a few reports um, about a barking dog, and I was just wondering if you have a couple of minutes to have a chat about it. No worries. Who have I got here, sorry? Defilic McCorn. I'm just working for Brisbane City Council. What's your job, sorry? Are you with the Brisbane City Council? Yeah, so I, I handle um, complaints. So so if, if anyone has any issues in certain suburbs, um, they come through to Brisbane City Council and basically um, I'm on the team that kind of filters through those complaints and, yep. um, and yeah, we, we just kind of try to find a uh, re resolution basically and, and the reason I'm calling um, is just we've had a few complaints now um, of a uh, dog barking um, sort of between 1 and 2 a.m. in the morning. Are you aware of that? A little bit, yeah. That's not... We've had a few people hanging around. Um, we've got footage of the neighbour next door. Yep. People hanging around the house. So there's video footage of people intruding. Yeah, right. Well, just to so let you know, yeah, one, actually doing his job. one of your um, neighbours, yeah, he's um, he's put in um, quite a few complaints um, and he um, he's kind of demanding that something be done. Um, he's actually also sent in um, some audio recordings of your dog barking. Um, so yep. he has actually sent in some proof. Um, so um, us as Brisbane City Council, the kind of protocol is that we um, kind of have to speak to the owners of the dog and, and try and help them find a way that they can silence the, the dog. Of course, barking is, is to be expected from a dog. We understand that. Um, but that that time in the morning, that's just not acceptable. Um, and, and yeah, we're going to have to uh, step in and make sure that that, that doesn't continue, uh, Brett. So it, th there are a few things that we can do there, Brett. Is, is there, do you have a solution in mind? Look, just a second. I'm just going to pull over for a second. Yeah, yeah yep, no sorry. worries. I'm going to pull over. What was your first name again? Defalic. Defalic McCorn. Yeah, that's a different. What background are you? Oh, uh, mate, Eastern European, born and um, but moved here when I was um, quite young. So, I just write your date. I just so, so I don't forget your name, man. Excuse me for a second. You, you Defilic, Defilic, yeah. Defilic McCorn. And McCorn is just M C K O R N. Yeah. Yeah. This seems. Yeah. Normally, if the council would call, normally, if normally, I know the council number three four zero three double eight double eight. Um, I deal with them all the time because I'm um, with my trade. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm no, not normally, in. Yeah, you're right, mate. Uh, so I'm not in the office at the moment. So we 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 are allowed to actually call from our um, personal phones. But you are correct. Yes, normally we, we would be calling from the office, and it would be that number. Normally, yeah. if you're the council, normally the council would actually send us a letter. But we'd have, actually get a letter in the mail normally for this. Yeah, right. Well, there's just been such an influx of complaints that we've just kind of been um, compelled to. Um, we, we can send an official letter and um, I'll, I'll make sure that that happens, mate, so, so we can do that. But just in the meantime, just, just so we can try and prevent any further complaints, is there anything that we can do to uh, shut that dog up at, at, at 2 a.m.? Look, this doesn't sound like the council calling, uh, mate. It's... Well, I don't it's know what you want from me, mate. I'm, I'm Defilic. You've written my, num my name down, Defilic McCorn. Yeah, you can call Brisbane that, City Council. You can call them and, and verify. And, and look, it's just my job to try and find a resolution so that your neighbours stop... Uh, uh, How did you get my number? Well, from, from, from your address that's listed online. No, it's not. What Do you live at... Uh, well, what I'm saying is that's my name is not listed online, Defilic. Well, that's the that's it's not, the. It's not listed. It's not listed on. Well, I don't know what to. What, I don't know what to online. tell you, but that's the number that's um that's uh associated with that address. So that's the number I've called. And, well, and how many complaints has there been before? Um. So, 
off the top of my head, I can't remember, but it's it's up around 20, 20 complaints over the last um, kind of and six weeks. Do you know which name is? Do you know? Oh, you I'm, unfortunately, I'm not allowed. Yet. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to let you know. Is it the front or the back? Oh, I'm, unfortunately, Brad, I'm not allowed to let you know um, which which neighbour it is. Um, but so we're going to have to think of something to shut that dog up because it's getting becoming quite a problem. Yeah, look, you. This doesn't sound like a council call, mate. Not the way you're speaking like that. I understand where you're coming from, and if it's if you've been affected from it. I would apologise to you, but... Well, you know, it, it would be quite frustrating. I, mean, I personally haven't been affected, but I, I do sympathise with your neighbours having to put up with that bloody dog barking at two a.m. every night, right? I've mate, I've lived mate, I've lived a, I've lived I've lived with speaking. someone, right, with with a barking dog, and I can tell you right now, it's not nice getting woken up at two a.m. by a dog barking all the time. Okay, look, you know that's not the only dog, Nick. There, you know there's other dogs there, don't you? Look, I'm, I'm just going place. off the reports. I'm just going off the reports, Brett. That's all I can. That's, that's all I can go dog. off. Look, we've got video footage of people hanging around, and I've come out on quite a few occasions that has been people in the street trying to case the joint. The neighbour two doors down had someone come into his yard, and that's the same person that's been hanging around. So the dog's actually doing his job. Yeah, that's well, look, the morning, that's when the place has been cased, mate. Have you this have you called? Have you let the police know about that? Look, we've got video footage, and it's all about. Um, yeah, so you you can you can uh, file in some complaints to the Brisbane City Council, or you you can uh, make a complaint the to the police. Speaking, but we need to shut that dog, dog up. We need to shut the that dog up. The way you're talking to me, the way you're talking to me, this isn't the council. Mate, this is just how I. I'm going this is how I talk. Now, and I'm going to. Yeah, no, but you can't ring up speaking to me like that, mate. What? I'm, not the way you're speaking to me. You're not speaking to me. This is not a person. Mate, I didn't realise that, that I had to take your feelings into consideration. I didn't realise I was dealing, right, with, with a soft little soft little pussy and, and, and who, yeah, who, who, yeah, who can't handle do this. Meet? Where do you want to meet? Where do you want to meet, mate? What do you mean? Do you I'm, mean? Come, and speak, come and speak to me. And speak to me I'm, like I'm this. Speaking to you right, I'm speaking to you right now, Brett. You're, you're speaking to me, okay, like that. You've called me. Look. So you've commented and allowed me to respond. So where do you want to meet with me? The way you're speaking, mate. I, I don't. I don't need to meet with you in person. I'm happy to chat over the phone, but we're going to have to shut that dog up. And I've got one me, thing. Calling me a pussy. I don't think you're weak. In all honesty, me little pussy. I'll show you the pussy. Let's Brett, do, do, mate. No, Brett, no, don't, Brett, don't no, speak to me like that, Brett, because that's not no, fair. I, I'm just doing my job. No, I'm, I'm just trying to do my job, you're, Brett. No, you're not. No, you're not. That's compartmentalise that. No, you. This is not. I can't help it if your feelings are hurt, and when all I've said is you need to shut that dog up. I just think you're a fucking whip, really, in all honesty. Uh, uh, mate, uh, I can't have you speak to me like that, okay? There is no need to be you're rude. You're calling me a pussy. You're the one that's... Mate, you're, well, you're, mate, you're offended you're because I'm dog. saying your dog needs to get sh- sh- shut up because it's barking at 2am. If you listen to yourself, you've rang me. I can't help it. If you're a pussy, you're telling me, speaking to me in such a defamatory, tomorrow way. But then you are offended if I've responded. Look, mate, I don't know what to tell you. Council, I'll tell you now, that's, that's the phallic McCorn. Look, that's... that's what, well, now you're laughing at my name and my heritage. Council. That's Now you're laughing at my name and my... I can't. I, I didn't choose my name, mate. And my, I'm proud of my mother and where she's come from. And the phallic McCorn is a very common name where I'm from. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're not with the council, I'll tell you now. And I ring the council, you're not even... Well, who, who am I with then? Who am I with then, hey? The FBI well, or something, you is you it? You tell me, you tell me. Well, maybe I'm part of a podcast and your son sent in, sent in your number and wants us to prank call you about your barking dog. Ripping you out of a podcast. This is a fucking setup. This is a fucking setup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, oh, mate. Bro. I'm that so sorry. Was... <laughs> I know what's going on. I know this isn't a fucking council. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking little oh, dick. Fucking let your dog bark. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Marty and Michael and Matt and I thought it was. I thought this is fucking Marty and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh Brett, that was brilliant. It was hard to yeah, do it to you. If you're a company ring up saying we we advertising hair removal, I'd think fuck yeah. You know, I need to see that for the missus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you picked man. up on the name. I thought I'd sneak the name in, but you you, you picked up that it was pretty weird. <laughs> I wanted to go off my bucket, but no, not when the dress has been red. I can't always be at home to guard the Oh, man. Fuck, that's good. All right. You're fucking legend. I'll speak to you guys soon. All right, Cheers, man. See you, man. Bye.
<laughs> All right, we'll guys. Cut it down to the that's core. the end of episode number ten. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Use a five star review on Spotify to keep the ball rolling. Everyone, we'll see you guys next week. And fucking stay strong and healthy. And Julian Woods, April seventeenth, with the best, 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 with